Uh, now uh, let me talk about the future prices. Uh, uh, when there are uh, cash flows and storage cost on underlying. Now, say for example, I uh, am having, I am simply dealing with a particular security uh, or a derivative on a particular security where uh, the uh, uh, cash flows, uh, uh, where the uh, underlying is uh, needs some storage cost as well as it may uh, give me some amount of the cash flows. Uh, over a period of time. Now, uh, in this scenario, uh, the storage costs are going to uh, be added back, while as the cash flows are going to be reduced back, as we did uh, previously if in the equity derivatives when we reduced down the dividends, which were uh, simply, uh, which were simply uh, the cash flows that were arriving on the uh, on the underlying. Now. Uh, in this scenario, the forward price continues with the previous notations as in the previous lectures. Now, uh, the uh, forward price in such a case will be spot price 1 plus r raised to power time t uh, plus we have to take the future value of the uh, Satori's costs. Let me denote Satori's cost by SC. So, storage cost on this contract that is from 0 to time t. So in this case, when the when there are storage costs, so in this case we we'll take the positive, we we'll take the future value of such the storage cost, and then uh, and then uh, add it to the uh, add it to the uh, spot price in plus the compounded value, or in itself, uh, if there are cash flows. Now we will subtract the future value of the uh, cash flows that will be arriving on the particular asset. So in this case we will deal with the cash flows. Now uh, well if we talk about this as the costs and we talk these as the benefits, uh, we will be uh, reaching uh, to uh, we will either have the positive uh, or a negative figure over here. If the if the costs are more, if the costs are more, in that case we will we will be uh, resulting in a positive figure. While as if the benefits are more, we will be resulting in a negative figure. Uh, uh, that is to be added uh, to this uh, spot and compounded uh, at uh, at uh, spot uh, price. Uh, the compounded spot price. Now, uh, 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 this scenario is known as the uh, cost of carry. Now, what do we mean by this uh, cost of carry? Now, cost of carry is simply uh, the uh, uh, cost of storage that, that that we have to, particularly due to this uh, this uh, particular asset as well as we subtract from it the cash flows that uh, this asset is giving over a period of time. Now uh, the this scenario results in sometimes uh, the uh, costs exceeding the benefits while as sometimes the be uh, benefits exceeding the cost and sometimes the cost exceeding the benefits. Uh, the scenario sometimes are result uh, into a concepts known as contango 